Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Chris B and in today's tutorial we'll be looking at the concept of responsiveness. So there's a way to approach your design build that can make your component or your element responsive out of the box. So over here in this design, we'll, when we inspect it, we realize the component has a width, a fixed width of 500 pixels. So in this case, when the page becomes responsive and it is scaling, you realize some portion of the UI is being hidden until the parent container or the viewport is greater than 500 pixels. That's when you see the full item or, or the full um, design or the UI or the element. So to solve this, you simply have to get two things. One, instead of setting a fixed width over here, you will have to replace this with max width and then set the width to 100%. So this would help you make your component scale automatically out of the box. So over here, the width is 100% and then the maximum width is 500 pixels, which means if the viewport is less than the available space, it will still reduce in size to accommodate it. So let me add a pattern to the parent component so that we can properly visualize it. So the parent will have a pattern of let's say uh, 15 pixels and then we will set the scaling just for design purposes also I'll say the um, box sizing should be border box so that the pattern wouldn't affect the weight and height predefined so anytime that you want your content or your main element to have like to subtract the pattern from the available weight you add this particular part property the box sizing and then you set it to border box so now let's go back to our design and then resize it again so on the mobile view you realize our content is shrinking to the available space so out of the box it becomes somewhat responsive and then in the world of responsiveness this is how to go about it let me see this is the first step so try incorporating such designs into your um, your next build also if it reaches a particular breaking point that you feel you want to modify certain things about it. For example, if it reaches the width of, uh, let's say, uh, 480 pixels, instead of it having a uh, fixed like square corners, or let me say pointed corners, you want it to have round, rounded corners, all you have to do is set the media query over here. So anything below 480 pixels, we want to set our child lives border box, sorry, border radius to, let's say, uh, 15 pixels. So there we have it. So when I increase it, you realize it takes away the box, the rounded corners. So as it shrinks, it becomes like that and like that and like that. So that's the first step to a good responsive design. So thanks for watching and please hit the subscribe button, like and then share the content. See you next time.